Good afternoon. We will be doing here part 6 of chapter 2, Nature of Proposition. We will be doing here the fourth type of truth functional compound proposition. That is material implicative or conditional proposition. Let us take an example. If Carol's gets a car, then Lily's dog will be trained. So here the truth functional uh, connective is if then. So we will define the material implicative or conditional proposition as when two propositions are joined together by truth functional connective if then then it is called as implicative proposition. The propositional connective used are if then, in case, unless means if not, then. Only if the statement starting with the word if is called the antecedent and the other statement will be the consequent here. Whereas the statement with the word only if is called the consequent and the other statement will be the antecedent. This is because in the case of if then, if is the sufficient, the statement starting with if is the sufficient condition. Whereas the statement starting with only if is the necessary condition and therefore it is the consequent. The connective used is dyadic or binary connective and the logical constant used is horseshoe, read as horseshoe. Now, let us take few examples. If it is a molecule, then it is made up of atom, atoms. Your if then is the connective, truth functional connective and it is a molecule is the antecedent. It is made up of atoms will be the consequent. Second example, in case I am absent, then prepone the next lecture. Here in case then will be the truth functional connective and I am absent will be the antecedent. Prepone the next lecture will be the consequent. Now third example, unless you study hard, you will fail. Your unless and comma are the connectives. We have to transform the sentence into if then form. So unless means if not. So we'll write it as if you do not study hard, then you will fail. Your the antecedent, uh, your the connectives will be if then, but not is there for the antecedent. So you do not study hard here the antecedent has not in it and what is the consequent you will fail now fourth only if you have hall ticket comma you can appear for the exam your only comma is the connective only if comma is the connective antecedent will be you can appear for the exam and consequent will be you have hall ticket. Now let us see the symbolization. First one will be symbolized as M horseshoe A. Second will be symbolized as T horseshoe B. Whereas the third, the antecedent has not in it. So it will be curl H horseshoe F. And the fourth, the antecedent is you can appear for the exam. So E implies you have a hall ticket. Then you have a hall ticket. So H. Truth value of this statement is an implicative statement is true in either of the cases. That is when the antecedent is false. Or in the second case when the consequent is true. An implicative statement is false only under one condition. That is when its antecedent is true and its consequent is false. 
Now we'll study the basic truth table of implication. What lies on the left hand side of the horseshoe is called the antecedent and what lies on the right hand side of horseshoe is called the consequent. An implication is true in either of the cases. In the first case when the antecedent is false then it will be true. So in the third row you can see that the antecedent is false so it is true. Even in the fourth row the antecedent is false that is why the implication is true. Now it, in the second case when the consequent is true then it will be true. So in the first row it is true because the consequent is true. In the third row also the consequent is true then it can be true. And it is false only under one condition that is when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false then it will be false. This is very important. Or by conditional proposition. When two propositions are joined by the truth functional connective if and only if then it is called as material equivalent or by conditional proposition. In this proposition, both the component propositions materially imply each other. Propositional connective used is if and only if then. It is a dyadic or binary connective. The logical constant used is triple bar. Red is triple bar. Symbolic form is P triple bar Q. Example, let us take if and only if you are a Parsi, then you, you can go to the fire temple. Second, two ang angles are conjurent if and only if their measurements are equal. Here, in this case, if and only if then is the connective and you are a Parsi is the first component. You can go to the fire temple is the second component. In the second case, two angles are conjurent is the first component. And their measurements are equal is the second component. The symbolization will be P triple bar T and the second will be E triple bar C where P, T, E, C are propositional constants used for a specific proposition. Truth value. An equivalent statement is true when both its components have equal truth values. That is, both are true, then it is true. Both are false, then also it is true. And it is false when both the components have unequal truth values. That is, the first is true and the second is false. Or the first is false and the second is true. Then it will be false. Let us see the basic truth table. An equivalence is true when both the sides, it, it is having equal truth values. Equal there. And when they are unequal, then it is false. You, are, you have to remember the basic truth tables also. They are very important for the next chapter. Thank you. So in the next class, we will be doing the exercise.